Okay, so now finally we're going to be doing the smoke. The mist. So I'm going to go back to the droplets scene and just duplicate this again, the full copy, and I'll call it mist. That's what I'll we'll call the scene. So there are quite a few things we're going to change. First of all, I'll add a new particle system so it doesn't interfere with the other one. I'm going to make the amount of particles to be 500. Also, they don't need to live nearly as long. 20 frames is more than long enough. And that's good. Okay, next of all, I'm going to change the type to none and the display to point so we can still see it. And that's fine. Now I'm going to press space and open up a quick smoke. I'm sure you've seen this done quite a few times. And I want to make the domain area pretty big. If I go to front view, I can see just how big I need it to be. And the answer is big. Now before we actually render or start caching the smoke, one thing we need to make sure is that in the smoke settings, the source is set to particle system and select that particle. Also turn on initial velocity, but turn it down quite a bit. And what that'll do is it'll push the smoke in the same direction as the um, as the particles. So now let's go and see what it looks like. Okay. So there's still quite a few things we need to deal with. One, I don't want it to go down as much, so I'm going to go back to the particle settings, and under field weights, I'm going to turn down gravity to about, yeah, 50%. The second thing I don't like is how long the particles live for. So I'm going to bring that down to 10, actually. I always bring it back up afterwards, and I'll bring down the normal velocity as well. And let's see what it looks like now. Okay, need to turn up the initial velocity a bit more. That's looking pretty good, but it's not fading away, and it's not spitting out exactly. And that's not surprising, since it is not, um, since it is pointing down for a lot of it. So, what I'm going to do as well is change the end frame to be 102, let's say. better and with the domain selected I believe yes turn on dissolve it's at the time to be something a bit higher than that eight frames now okay that's looking absolutely fine that's pretty much what we want believe it or not but the smoke is still black, so let's add in a sunlight. I'll rotate it. 
in the right direction to match what you see, obviously. Just move it up a bit higher. And he wants the energy to be quite high indeed. Why is it like that? Shouldn't make any difference. Okay, just under render for the particles, just change it to the other material, one that isn't emitting any light, and it should work fine. So, that is pretty much it. The last thing I want to do is bring up the divisions to twice that, 64. And now if we run it, That looks great. And if you want to make it run a bit smoother, just turn on Smoke Adaptive Domain. I'm very happy with that. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. And it can go on. So, now it's time to save the cache so that it'll run a lot smoother and just click bake and that'll be very quick to do and there we go now it'll run perfectly smooth voila okay finally the last bit of work we really need to do is as you may have guessed compositing <laughs> 